Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy, Brandy Boy, back at it again with another Fallout 4 video. Today, I'm going to be showing y'all this new mod for Fallout 4 called Calibers Complex, and I'll also be showing a little tutorial on how to create your own custom patches for it. So what exactly is Calibers Complex? It's a framework mod that introduces a whole bunch of new ammunition types into the game. As of right now, the ammunition itself is only different in name, and it still shares the models from the vanilla game. But this mod is brand new, so maybe in the future, that'll get updated. You may also be familiar with a similar mod called New Calibers, which pretty much does the same thing. I've been using it for quite a while now, but it hasn't been updated for years, so I'll be focusing on the Calibers Complex mod for this video, since it's all new and shiny. Calibers Complex includes even more ammunition types than New Calibers, and according to the mod author, Every ammunition type in this mod is utilized by at least one gun mod available for Fallout 4, whether it be from the Nexus or from somewhere else. So why exactly would we even want this mod though? For immersion of course. As we all know, there's a lot more ammo types in real life than there are in Fallout 4, and chances are that if you have a lot of gun mods, a few of them are probably using the wrong ammo type. If you're a gun nut, that might bother you quite a bit, but with the Calibers Complex mod, those worries can be put to rest. Not only does the mod add a touch of realism, but the addition of all these new ammunition types indirectly changes your gameplay, because it'll actually give you a reason to try out different guns. Through the course of a natural playthrough, you'll collect a bunch of new ammo types over time, so when you run out of 10mm for one pistol, you could then swap to a different one that uses 9mm or maybe even a 40 cal. And I think that extra variety is a great thing to have. But if you actually want the guns themselves to use the new ammunition types and for that ammo to spawn on enemies, you'll have to do some of your own patching. This mod is a framework after all, so it's kind of like a coloring book. You'll have to do some of the work. Or you can wait for someone else to do it for you. The mod author himself, Robbie the Kid, as well as another modder, Aqua Gardner, have already made a few patches for multiple gun mods, but they probably won't get all of them done. And before I forget, there's already a mod available which allows you to craft the ammo at a chem station. Anyway, let's say there's this one gun mod you really like, but you don't want to wait forever for a patch to come out for it. Or maybe a patch does come out, but you don't like how the weapon is balanced. Well, I'll show you how to change that. It's not too hard, really. For this video, I'm using the UMP and the SV-98 as examples. They're both great mods by themselves, and I suggest you try them out. But as we all know, the SV-98 in real life is chambered for 7.62x54 rimmed, but in game here, it's using a 308. And for the UMP, well it does use 45, but the mod doesn't quite get the conversion kits right. Not the mod author's fault though. Bethesda didn't bother to include 9mm or 40 cal, but Calibers Complex does. However, the mod author did get the magazine capacity wrong. Somehow, 40 rounds are crammed into this mag, but the standard UMP 45 magazine can only fit 25 rounds, so we're gonna want to change that as well. And I will show you how to do so. First off, you're gonna need Fallout 4 Edit. For this video, I'm gonna assume you know how to install it. If you don't, then you could look up another tutorial for it real quick. So once you start up Fallout 4 Edit, you'll want to enable the mods you want to edit. For this one, we'll need Calibers Complex, the UMP mod, and the SV-98. Once you've selected everything you needed, click OK, and then wait for everything to load. On the right side here, you'll want to wait until it says finished. Converting the guns to use the proper ammunition isn't too hard. First, you'll need to add Calibers Complex as a master file for both these mods. Then after that, I'm going to go into the SV-98 mod here and find the weapon data itself. You'll see a bunch of data here, but it shouldn't be too hard to figure out what each thing does. So for the conversion itself, all we have to do is find the ammo type and change it on over. For the quickest way to do that, I'm going to go back to the Calibers Complex mod and then copy the ammo type that I want. There it is, 7.62x54. Make sure you copy the form ID then go back to the other mod, then paste it. After that, the conversion is complete. But before we leave it at that, we'll want to change the level list too. Because if you don't, then enemies that spawn with this weapon won't spawn with the ammo. So they'll just punch you instead. Again, it's rather simple. We'll go to the leveled list section from the Calibers Complex mod, then copy and paste the data. So now, this gun is fully converted. But one thing you'll notice about this mod in particular 
is that it also adds in a couple of unique variants which are considered separate weapons. So you'll have to repeat this process for those guns as well. If that's all you're looking for, then you could simply exit out of Fallout 4 Edit right now and save the ESP. Once you load up the game, this gun will now be using its correct ammo type, and NPCs that have this gun in their inventory will have that ammo on them. But we can do some more editing from here. Let's say you also want to have the ability to create conversion kits. To do that, we'll have to add on a new weapon modification, and then make sure that you can craft it. So of course, I'm going to head on over to the object modification section, and then add on a new attachment. What I like to do is to simply copy an already existing modification, then change it up a bit. While I'm here, I'll go ahead and change up the description of the standard magazine to be more immersive. After that, I'm going to copy this modification as a new record, and then give it a new name. Then of course, I'm going to copy this record into the SV98 ESP. And now we've got a new mod. So first, I'll change around the name and description. But after that, we'll want to add on some new properties. So we'll scroll down just a little bit to the property section and add on a new one. The value type is going to be form ID comma int. The function type is set. The property is ammo. And the value is going to be whatever ammo we want. In this case, it'll be 308. So we can go back into the calibers complex mod and copy that form ID. Now this is officially a conversion kit but you may also want to give it a level list as well. To do that, we'll add on another property. It's basically going to be the same thing as last time, but for the property itself, it'll be NPC ammo list. Normally, you could just copy the level list from the Calibers Complex mod, but 308 is from the vanilla game, so we'll have to go into the Fallout 4 ESM. It might be a little bit hard to find because it is very cluttered, but it is there. So now that's all done but we still need the ability to craft this mod in-game. So next, we'll go to the Constructible Object tab and make a new record. Again, you can simply copy an already existing record and change a few things around. For this one, I'll copy the standard magazine mod and then change up the name. Once you do that, all you have to do is go into the new record and make sure you change the created object itself into the object modification that you just made. You can also mess around with the required components, but I'll leave this alone for now. That's pretty much all you need to know on how to convert your weapon to use different ammunition. But of course, there's a bunch more stuff we can edit. If we go back to the weapon data, we'll see a bunch of values here. The speed refers to the rate of fire of the weapon, and the reload speed is exactly what you think. Then you can also mess around with the range values, and the attack delay refers to semi-autos. The lower the number, the faster you can span the trigger. Also, there's the default magazine capacity. For this one, I'm going to change it to 25. You'll even find the ability to change the secondary damage, which is your bashing damage, the weight or the value, and even the crit damage, which is all the way at the bottom. There's a bunch of other data here as well, but I usually don't like to mess with it. Another thing you may want to mess with is the recoil of your weapon. To do that, we'll go to the Aim Model tab. The cone of fire is essentially your accuracy and your spread, and the recoil min and max is basically your vertical recoil, while the arc or arc rotate is your horizontal recoil. Overall, there's a lot of options here, and you can get really creative with it. Then of course, we can mess around with the object modifications themselves. You can take any value that we've seen so far and add it on, or change around the numbers. As you can see here, I already changed up a bunch of things. I patched the conversion kits to use the right ammo, and I changed the magazine capacity for them as well. For other things, you can change the damage for the receivers, the range on the barrels or the suppressors, or even the recoil modifier on the stocks and other things. There's just a bunch of stuff you can do here, and I encourage you to mess around with it. There's a bunch more stuff I could go into detail about, but I don't want this video to last forever. But for one last thing though, we'll go back to the Calibers Complex mod. This mod adds in a bunch of ammo, and chances are, you're not going to use all of it. So, instead of having it just flooding your level list and sitting around and doing nothing, you can delete it from the game entirely. I'll use 8 gauge as an example here. 
I am never going to use 8 gauge in my game, so I have no reason to have it in there. The first thing I'll do is that I'll delete the level list for it. Make sure you not only get the regular level list, but the scrounger version as well. After that's done, this ammo will no longer appear in the level list. You can't find it through loot or through trading. The only way to get it is through crafting or through console commands. Now, you could just leave it at that, which is what I like to do, but if you want to take it a step further, you could delete the ammo from the game entirely. Of course, I said I'm not going to do this, so I'm going to say no. But if you're feeling risky, you can do it anyway. You can report your findings down in the comments below. And now that I'm completely done with everything here, I am going to exit FO4 Edit, and it will automatically save everything. Make sure you click the little checkboxes here, and you can back up the plugins too if you want. So now, we can go back into the game and see if those changes actually worked. And for me, they did, because I'm an expert. You'll see here that the UMP has a 25 round mag, as it should, and whenever I inspect the SV-98, it's using the correct ammunition now. And whenever I head on over to the workbench, you'll see that the modification is there, and I can craft it. The same thing goes for the UMP. The conversion kits are now properly using the correct ammunition. So now I'm fully immersed in this world, knowing that I'm using the correct ammo. All thanks to Calibers Complex. So overall, I really like this mod, and I hope to see it get some more features added in later such as compatibility patches for other mods that include bullet drop or penetration power for each ammunition type. For right now though, I'll spend some more time making patches for all the gun mods I have. So that's pretty much the end of the video. I hope you all enjoyed it and found the tutorial useful. If there's anything I missed, then please let me know. If you want more videos like this, then make sure to like and subscribe and all that good stuff. With all that being said, I think I'm done for today. See you all next time.